All right, so this is a suggestion via a donation. The name of the video is Ron White on Tiger Woods. Let's check it out. My favorite thing about playing Vegas is I get to play this golf course called Shadow Creek, which is one of the most exclusive golf courses in the world. I worked for them three years, didn't even know it existed because they knew if I found out it existed that I'd pester the f out of them until they put it in my contract. Right which is exactly what happened. <laughs> it's amazing. This golf course is just fucking so tricked out. The first time I walked through the gates, I was like, nobody's stopping me. All right, so we have a potty mouth comedian. That's where all the pros play when they're in Vegas. And I was out there this summer, and Tiger Woods was out there just f***ing around. Of course, of course. I may sign my golf glove. I got to meet the most famous person I've ever met, and I know a lot of famous people, but nobody as famous as Tiger Woods. I love Tiger, man. I defended Tiger when all that stuff first came out. When I heard those initial rumors, I felt sick to my god stomach for Bro, the what guy. Did you do? Because I've never been accused of doing anything I didn't do. <laughs> Not one god time. I did right. it every single time. Right. right. Not once could I go, no, that was Glenn Campbell. Hey, a lot of things smell like strippers. <laughs> Guys, I may be incredibly like super prude, but I have never been to one of those clubs. Guys, I don't know. Never have. Uh, never have really had any interest in going either. Uh, so I don't really, really no idea what they smell like. I could probably guess though. Probably guess sweat maybe. Um, and like like uh, like body spray. I, if I was just to guess, and, and probably like hot wings, maybe. And I defended him to my wife. I said, "You don't Guys, know." What let this me guy know. Let me know if I'm close. Been through. He did his first famous golf shot on television when he was two years old. You don't know what his home life's like. You can't judge a guy because he made one mistake. Bro, what did he do? And he gets golf number 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh, oh. I started going, "God damn, Tiger, <laughs> come on, buddy." Right. And it got to the point where every time he got caught with another woman, my wife would go like this. Yeah, right, right, waiting for you to just stick up for What? I don't even know the <laughs> guy. You act like I was holding his dick the whole time. We watched him make that long apology on television, and afterwards my wife goes, well, do you think a guy like Tiger could quit cheating on his wife? And I said, <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. Bro, why would you bro, why would you even get married if your sole purpose is just to keep cheating on your wife, bro? That's that's wild, guys. Um maybe you just like the maybe you like the stability, but I would not do that publicly. You're, first of all, you're shaming her, right? And she's gonna leave. And you're gonna lose half, at least half, of everything that you have very much so invested your life into. Uh, you bet. <laughs> what you know is bullshit. Because you know as well as I do, if a guy likes strange, getting him to quit wanting strange is like getting a dog that likes to kill chickens to quit killing chickens. <laughs> they don't even know what you're talking about. You got to quit killing chickens. All right, let me see if I got this straight. Okay. <laughs> I can still kill chickens. Right. I mean, you didn't say anything. <laughs> no, you can't kill chickens anymore. Right. I'm going right. to continue doing that. Let's say I'm in a hotel room with the chicken. Right. Yeah. It's mandatory. Let's say the chicken just wants to touch me. Right. <laughs> Can I kill that chicken? That very specific one? No problem. No? My wife told me all women want the same thing. They want to marry somebody who will never have sex with anybody else, no matter what. And I said, well, then maybe you should consider marrying somebody that nobody else wants to f <laughs> If it means that much to you, you know. Oh, don't my. marry But they don't. They don't. They chase the guy who all the other girls are chasing, and then they wonder why. Oh, no. Guys, it's good. The most famous golfer in the world, marry the most famous frisbee golfer in the world. Right, no one cares. Ain't no line to f that dude. 
Right. I want an NBA basketball player. Okay. <laughs> we had a chat about cheating that day, man. Uh, right. Right. My wife told me, she goes, listen, Ron, let's get this straight. Sex is sex. Right. Period. Okay. I said, no, now, wait a minute. Oral sex is not the same as intercourse. She goes, it's the exact same thing. I said, it's not the same price. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, buddy. Um, bro, he told on himself. He absolutely told on himself here. I heard that on the radio. Right. I saw it in a movie, bro. What do you mean? I saw it, baby. It all comes down to opportunity, man. Some guys are put into a position where they have to say no to beautiful women, and that right. is hard to do. And some guys are never put in that position, and that's way f easier. <laughs> I see these big 350-pound guys all the time going, I have never cheated on my wife. I'm like, I bet that was tough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tiger doesn't get any credit for all that that you turned down, and that's the number you're looking for right there. Right. My wife's best friend, her husband cheated on her, and my wife hates Tiger's guts. And I'm like, well, what about that guy? You don't hate that guy? She goes, he did it one time. I said, he had one chance. <laughs> this guy had sex with 100% of the women he possibly could his entire goddamn life. Right. Tiger was 18 for 82,000. Yeah. That takes a little god a discipline right, right there. That's a good number. Congratulations, this man. If 82,000 women want to have sex with you and you only... 18 of them, that's love. Has to be. He was in love with that woman. No, I didn't think about it. She like broke this, but... his tiny tiger heart. <laughs> right. He lost all those sponsors, which never made sense to me because his core fan base is men. I don't know, one guy in America gave a fiddler's fuck what he did. I probably not. No, th listen, there will be a group of men. I'm not going to go ahead and tell you the state of California that they're from. All right. I'm sorry. I'm just I'm just a hater. All right. No offense if you're from California. Obviously, you, you understand. I guarantee you not one guy in America went, really? Tiger got some straight. Yeah. I'm dropping at and Right. No one. No one. Well, not a one guy gave me fiddler's. <laughs> now when they were around their wives they'd act like they gave a fiddler's get all fog horn legs I still wouldn't do it horn. why I never I can't believe a man would commit such transgressions towards his wife I say I say how's his relationship with the Lord I'd like to know right <laughs> not a single person did that then as soon as they're around their buddies they're like wonder what kind of cologne he wears right He's, he's, he knows men. I want to smell just like that dude, man. Right. He, he knows men in a way that that's interesting. He lost so many sponsors. I'm thinking about bringing him over to Ron White, Inc. And not because we need a new face for the company. I would just love to have somebody around the house to fade the heat when I f*** up. <laughs> Ron White, you are the most selfish prick I have ever met in my life. Tiger, get in here. <laughs> you tell her what you did. Right. Right. <laughs> Ron White, you're the finest man I have ever known. Compared. I shall fall to my bended knee and suckle your. P yeah. yeah. Well, thank you, baby. Slow oh. down. That'll, that'll do. That'll do. Watch out for those ears. All right, guys. So we've just been introduced to Ron White, uh, very specifically uh, on Tiger Woods. I definitely did not know that he went through all of these things publicly. And I think that's probably why, um, you know, most m most marriages that are like that coming from like that income group, let's say, uh, they're interesting. Um, and a lot of it is very transactional. It's very business oriented. Um, and I'm sure most women would probably end up saying very similar to um, 
potentially some women in your lives who who would say, hey, listen, don't embarrass me and don't bring any kids home. My wife told me this, guys, this right now. That's why I'm saying this. But um, don't embarrass me publicly and do not bring any kids home. That's it. Don't disrespect me publicly. And I think that's kind of what happened with a lot of like, uh, you know, people that are like very specifically in like the public eye. Because you end up getting like a lot of like weird, a lot of weirdness happens, guys. Right. So uh, and I can only imagine Tiger Woods and his very specific, you know, I think he was, I think he was like a billionaire or something. Um, like in his financial situation, I'm sure that was pretty much the arrangement. Um, along with Adam Levine and his wife. Um, and most recently, at least. As, lo as soon as you make any, as soon as this hits the public, we're going to have an issue. Don't let me hear about it. Don't bring any kids home type of thing, guys. But either way, listen, now let me know in the comments on the next thing from him uh, that I should be listening to. Uh, and I will get into that as soon as I possibly can. All right. Uh, listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy it thoroughly.